Okay, everybody, <clears throat> here's what I'm doing. I'm taking out the stock manifold out of my uh, Mustang GT. I am going to install the Boss 302 manifold. Um, this so far took me about three hours. I've uh, knocked everything down, took all the electrical connections out, um, unplugged everything. I didn't want, uh, obviously, you to go through the uh, boring part because obviously it would have taken too long but uh, I would say if you had some really good mechanical skills you could tackle this very easily uh, as I did I took my time because you know I'm just uh, that way uh, something that would probably taken two hours uh, took, uh, you know, took me an extra hour so um, <clears throat> there is there is a, a good illustration on YouTube from CJ Pony, a guy by the name of Bill. He does a really good um, install of the manifold. So if you want to go to YouTube and you know search for uh, Boss 302 uh, install, you'll see it on there. Uh, I would highly recommend going through that before. Uh, you know installing this yourself so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out I'm gonna put the new one in uh, give it a tune and then we'll go for a ride so we'll see you in a little bit so just a tidbit here as I took off my manifold I find this little puppy buried in here of course he's dead but uh, <clears throat> funny things you find in your engine uh, when your car is brand new just thought I'd share. All right, there it is installed. All I need to do is put on the uh, strut brace and uh, put in the tune and fire it up. So after this, I'm going to go take it for a ride and uh, we'll see how it performs. Okay, <clears throat> taking a ride with uh, the 302, the bus uh, intake manifold installed. And uh, if I get a moment here, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a wide open throttle so you guys can hear. It. Currently running about it's 80 degrees up, so I'm running with the windows up. I got the uh, air conditioner on, but. Uh, I'll, I'll do one with uh, the, the windows <laughs> down. I can tell you that after I put the uh, manifold in, my gas mileage went from, on the highway, from 18 to 25. And I was doing 80 miles an hour, pretty constant. So, and I guess that's going to vary between drivers, you know, how often you get on it and how often you just, you know, stay constant. So, and I guess, you know, there's all kind of other variables like the kind of gas you have and, and what kind of tune you're, you're uh, running on your Mustang. Like I said, if I get a minute here, if I get an open spot, which it doesn't look likely right now, I'll uh, I'll downshift and, and open it up for you. You can see what it sounds like in the cabin with the windows up and the air conditioning on, of course. Doing about 105 right there. <clears throat> that was from uh, about a 75 mile an hour uh, driving to 100, 105. 
which is pretty yep. quick. Thing, roll down the windows you guys can uh, hear what it sounds like in the cabin uh, you might get some some windage on the microphone I don't know we'll see I don't know how I I forget how I have my my camera set but here we go As I'm hitting the throttle, uh, my uh, average miles per gallon just dropped to like 21, which still isn't too bad. I'm driving around 90. in here uh, with the uh, my Corsa Extreme uh, axle back mufflers and the the Boss 302 intake manifold and the air raid hold air uh, intake. Okay, guys, one final thought. After the install of the uh, manifold, a lot of people were complaining about low-end torque loss. Um, I didn't notice any, any low-end torque loss at all. If it was, it was um, very minimal and not even uh, recognizable. So I just wanted to pass that along to you guys. Um, although I do have the um, uh, 3.73 gears, so that might have something to do with it. I'm not sure. Uh, you know, a lot of people out there that have the lower gears may be experiencing the low end torque a lot, a lot more than, <clears throat> excuse me, say, say somebody that has like the 373 or the 4.0, 4, I'm sorry, 4.10 gears. So, um, like I said again before, if you're attempting to install this by yourself, I would go out on uh, YouTube and look at CJ Pony's install from Bill. He's very uh, detailed and he helped me out a lot even though he wasn't here. So that's it guys. You guys take it easy. I'll talk to you later.